Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In today's video you will find out how the price of NEO has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, RSI, divergence and stochastic RSI are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Taking a look at the hourly time frame for NEO, it can be seen that the price went down with around 3.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 44.2. However, the volume wasn't especially high, so this move wasn't very strong. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 20 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 43.6 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 45.1 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 51, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Searching for divergence in the hourly time frame, the price has already gone up owing to the last bullish divergence. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 200 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 43.0 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 44.5 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 43, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Jumping to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 42.6 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 48.5 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Jumping to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 48, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price. So please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, Keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.